Hello, you're with Libby from LibbyStamps.com and I'm going to show you today how I made my drapery card that I've had lots of comments on. I don't have a sample because I've sent it off to somebody but um, it's really quite easy. So I'm going to start off with my card base which is half an A4 piece um, so and then I'm putting on um, when I've done my drapery fold I'm going to put on a piece of uh, very vanilla which I've already stamped in the bottom left hand corner using the Rose Wonder stamp set and I've also used the Rose Garden Thinlets dies. Now you can buy these as a bundle at 15% off um, and that's only until the end of this current um, occasions catalogue so that ends on the 31st of May so if you want it you need to get in and get it fairly quickly and I've just cut out the small rows from that now the other things we need are some Sahara sand and I've just used Memento Tuxedo Black that's what I've stamped the um, sentiment in and the Sahara sand I've used to stamp the small flower in the stamp set on the back of the envelope and the front of the envelope and I've also put a piece of very vanilla on the inside and stamped on the inside to finish off the inside of my card. All right now the other things you need are some uh, designer series paper. Now my paper measures 11 and a half by three and three quarters so you will get three of these cards out of one 12 by 12 sheet you also need um, some iced rhinestone embellishments and about 20 inches of the sahara sand lace trim and a glue dot so that's about it we'll get started I've already cut my DSP as I said to three and three quarters by eleven and a half and I'm now going to score it and these measurements will all be on my blog. Now you don't need to score it heavily because you don't want it to go through the paper. So I'm just using a light score line and I'm doing it at one and a half. two and a half four and a half five and a half seven and a half eight and a half all right then I'm going to bring in my trimmer And from this eight and a half point and I'm going to mark it here so from this eight and a half point there that's where I've got a fold you want to measure about one and a half down the side so about there and you can use either your scissors or you can trim with your trimmer so I'm going to the eight and a half point up here to the one and a half and I'm just going to trim that off and that's what will help give you your drapery fold. All right so that piece is used for punching out flowers or something or other later on. And then I'm going to bring my bone folder in and I'm going to fold my score lines and I'm doing um, a mountain first on the one and a half and then a valley on the two and a half and you just need to make sure that it's all straight up the top here and then 
fold those down nicely burnish those with your bone folder then I'm doing a mountain on the four and a half I'm doing a mountain and a valley on the five and a half so just like that and you can see how the drapery folds are already starting to shape up make sure this top's straight and then you're going to do a mountain fold on the seven and a half and a valley fold on the eight and a half burnish those folds it slipped a bit there all right i'm going to burnish on the back as well and i'm just using some uh tombow or multi-purpose liquid glue and i just put a little bit under each fold because i found otherwise it sticks up and if you want to mail it it's going to stick up in the in the post so just put a little bit of multi-purpose liquid glue or tombow under those folds and hold and then you're going to just add glue like that so you don't need a lot of glue and you're going to add that to the front of your card that you've already stamped on find actually it's easier to turn this upside down and make sure I've got it straight but anyway for the purposes of the video now you'll get a little edge either side will do all right so we've got our fold so that's our drapery fold you can do it the other way don't forget to turn it around and have your your drapery fold going the other way all right then i'm going to bring in my sahara sand um lace trim and i'm going to tie the bow on the opposite edge to the card at the beginning of the video some tombow to the back and yes I stamped crookedly on the first go through so just as well cardstock's got two sides to every piece all right so some tombow across the lace you could just tie a bow and save yourself some lace but I like the fact that it goes right across the top of the card now i'm going to turn this around so i can see where i'm pasting there's my card front and i just need to finish it off trim the edges of the the ribbon the lace trim sorry just at an angle all i did was i got a glue dot put it just under here so it's between the loop and the end of the lace my rows under there like that fiddle with it a bit this will fit in a normal card and then i'll get my ice drying stone and i chose the big one the other day but i think i'll choose the medium size one and just pop that in the middle there and your card is done you can go and put some um, adhesive under there if you want um, just to let it lie flat but um, you don't have to so I'm just going to pop a little bit of adhesive under there there's my finished card with an envelope ready to mail Alright, so that's it for today. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon. Bye for now. Hey, if you wanna play, they get about a play.